Hey Minotaurs, how's it going? Since last time, I decided to level up a little bit off-screen, since, uh, yeah, that's just kind of boring stuff that you guys don't really want to see. Um, and it'll just make the game go by faster. Anyway, today I'm going to keep heading down that route where I found Johnson, my Spiro, who is doing lovely. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, battle. I hate this. Yeah, there's a Spiro. I'm just gonna, er, not a Spiro, a Nidoran. I'm just gonna run. Um, also, of relevance, Squirtle learned its first water attack, or Indiana, gotta start calling it by its name, um, learned its first water attack, Bubble, which is a fairly weak water attack, but an elemental attack nonetheless, and it has a chance of lowering opponent's speed. Oh, uh, there's our rival. Train! That's the whole reason I went over here, because I can't really get past this route, because um, I don't have any badges, and the guard won't let me through as he is telling me right now. <clears throat> yes, but anyway, um, yes, I don't understand why popping a bubble in someone's face will make them slower, uh, or why it would hurt them, but, um, that's, that's what Squirtle does, apparently. Anyway, your rival will have, in addition to his starter, one Pidgey. Uh, I believe in Pokemon Yellow it turns into a Spearow, but, uh, more on that kind of differences between Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Red and Blue later. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, basically Pokemon is released uh, in multiple games with several minor differences between them. Um, in later games, there are bigger differences, uh, but it, it makes a, a marketing scheme, let's just be honest with ourselves. Um, but they also release a third updated version in uh, almost all cases. In this case, it was Pokemon Yellow, which took a lot of things from the anime, including having you start with a Pikachu. Um, but more on that. You know, as as we get to places where there are big differences, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that. Um, but yes, here's here's one of the first big differences. Your rival has a Spearow instead of a Pidgey, uh, which your Pikachu can easily take out. Ah, uh, come on, you gotta miss. Uh, yeah, annoying noises. Yeah, kill the Pidgey with a bubble. Pop a bubble in your face and knock you out. That makes perfect sense. Anyway, for Bulbasaur, I'm gonna use Johnson. Um, why, you ask? Because flying type is actually, um, which Johnson's main attack, Peck, is, um, is good against grass, because I guess some birds eat grass. I don't really, I don't really get it. it. It doesn't make much sense. Try not to think about it too hard. Actually, no, we're here to think about it too hard. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Um, but that's another reason why Pikachu is useful in yellow, is because your opponent's Spearow will be ineffective because Peck... Flying is not good against electric, and electric is good against flying. I don't know why the former is, but I guess if you got shocked with electricity while you were flying, you wouldn't keep flying for very long. Anyway, oh, Johnson gained a level! This battle is really easy if you use, um, to your advantage, that your opponent's weaknesses. Um, basically, uh, they're going to have an elemental attack, though. I think Bulbasaur actually learns a different attack than something that's, that's not a regular attack, but we'll, we'll get on that later. Um, but basically use whatever other Pokemon you've caught to defeat your rival. Um, and go ahead and use your rival, your, your starter against their main guy. Anyway, I'm gonna go heal up. Anyway, we've healed up, so it's time to head north. Uh, also, yes, this gym we cannot enter. It is locked. This guy will say, it's closed. Um, no one knows who the leader is, which is odd, because you'd think that they'd be fairly public figures. Given that the entire world in these games seems to revolve around this sort of monster dogfighting. Um, I'm not complaining because it's a fun game, but still, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, this patch of grass you already saw, whatever. In addition to Pidgeys and Rattatas, it has Caterpies, but we will inevitably run into those here because we are entering the first dungeon-type place of the game. Um, Viridian Forest, named because it's next to Viridian. Yeah, no, I didn't get a red. Dang it, I don't want to talk to you again, little girl! Arrgh. Yes, <clears throat> anyway, uh, yes. There are Pokemon fights. Yes, there will be trainers here, and it has an awesome theme. Do, 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 do. And most of the Pokemon you will find here will be bug type. Um, there are, I believe, three different kinds of Pokemon in here. There are, well, it, it, it's different depending on your version. Again, um, in 
blue, there will be more Caterpies. Um, same with on, on Route 3, there will be cat or Route 2, there will be Caterpies and not uh, Caterpies in addition to Pidgeys and Rattatas. And here there's no Pidgey and Rattatas, there's just the bugs, uh, Caterpie and Metapod. Caterpies, uh, we'll, we'll get into that later. And uh, in red version, more Weetle, which is this Pokemon. Uh, Weedle is a pain because it is a bug type, but it is also a poison type. Why is Indiana out? I do not want you out front. Whatever, just pop up. Yes, there we go. That is why they are the bane of your existence, because poison can poison you. Surprise, what a twist. Uh, but yes, um, if uh, you're poisoned, you will take damage every turn, and while on the field, while walking, Every few steps, your screen will flash in an annoying flash. That's logic. And you will get damaged, which is bad. Um, uh, well, yeah. Yes, it is bad. Just wanted to be objective about that. Um, other than that, Weedle, not that big of a problem. Uh, makes the game a little bit more annoying. If you picked up Bulbasaur as your starter, um, you will be part poison type, because Bulbasaur is two types. Um, as a kind of sort of hinted at. There are Pokemon with two types. There's Caterpie, the, the type that's more common in this game. Um, for instance, actually, Spearow is normal type and flying type. Normal type being just a uh, kind of catch-all um, for just they're a type, whatever. And um, flying type being, you know, things that fly. Uh, <laughs> obviously. Um, and Bulbasaur is a grass and poison type. So as a poison type, Bulbasaur cannot be poisoned. A little help there. Um, but yes, as you can see, bugs in a fairly logical bit of, uh, of elemental rock, paper, scissors. Bugs are weak to birds pegging out their eyeballs. Uh, let's switch the Pokemon so that Johnson gets to face everything first. Uh, avoid the grass because you guys don't want to see me fighting random encounters in here. Except I will fight trainers because good experience and that wow. Yo, you can't jam out. That's I that's uh that's incorrect use of slang that doesn't even exist. It's just so painfully 90s. Yeah. Uh, and he's got a Weedle at level 7, a little stronger than the last trainer, but uh shouldn't be too much of a trouble now that we've got Johnson on the front, because look at that damage. Critical hit. Critical hits do double damage and don't take into account. If your opponent's lowered, uh, lowered your attack or raised their own defense or something like that, Critical Hit ignores all of that and just powers through. It's really quite amazing. Plus, if you raise your own attack before doing a Critical Hit, you will, uh, it's, it's this, oh no, I don't have to come up. It's the same kind of thing, uh, you, only bonuses to you will, uh, will stay. So if you raise your own attack and get a Critical Hit, uh, you still, yes. Um, and anyway, this is Kakuna, the evolution to, to Weedle. Um, it's a good place to introduce evolution as a concept in Pokemon. It does not refer to a, a gradual change over time due to mutations uh, in offspring. It refers to pretty much more like metamorphosis, uh, as is obvious with more with bug Pokemon, where uh, as they level up at a certain level or uh, in some other instances, such as being traded or given certain items, um, they will turn into a new form. Uh, in this case, it goes from like a weird worm <laughs> spiky thing and turns into a cocoon. Um, Caterpie turns into Metapod, basically another kind of cocoon, and then into a uh, Butterfree, which is a butterfly, of course. Um, yes, you can get your Pokedex value. Basically, they'll just say, oh, you got this many Pokemon? Oh, that's cool. Um, and uh, Butterfree can be somewhat useful. Not going to use them in this playthrough. Again, because, uh, like Pidgey, just eventually not good enough anymore. Um, and uh, Weedle evolves into a, uh, a Kakuna, obviously. And then into a bee. Um, because they missed the... Oh, there's a Metapod. There you go. Um, the oddly phallic Pokemon that evolves from Caterpie. Uh, but I'm just going to run away because it's annoying. Um, but yes, then after Kakuna, it evolves into Bee Drill, a bee with drills on its hands. This is obvious, kind of there. Um, 
Which, again, like Butterfree, useful because it evolves early, but uh, not good stats overall for um, later in the game. Uh, also, there is one more Pokemon that you can find here that is exceedingly rare. I Actually, it's not that rare. It's like 5%, I want to say, so if you hunt for it long enough, you can find it. Um, Pikachu, which you guys all should know, um, even if you don't know much about Pokemon, because Pikachu is the mascot of Pokemon. Um, in electric type, so be careful if you're leading with a with a flying type like I am, um, or or actually a water type like Squirtle, because electric super effective against water. Um, pretty fast, pretty good attack and stuff. Terrible defenses. Um, so Pikachu, mascot of Pokemon, everybody knows what it is, an electric mousey thing. Um, one of the Pokemon that kept its original Japanese name, Pika, coming from the sound effect for like sparkling kind of. I think I've also heard it used for, like, light. Um, oh, I learned Leer, which lowers the opponent's defense, and is effectively the same thing as Tail Whip, for things without tails, or just to like to stare at things. Um, but yes, uh, Pika, meaning, like, a sparkling, um, could also relate to light, and Chu, which is the onomatopoeia for a mouse's squeak. So it's basically like Sparkle Squeak, except for that sounds, uh, not as cool as Pikachu, um, because Pikachu sounds so cool, right? Um, so yes, yes, some of the bushes can be cut, that'll be much later. Well, not that much later, but still, quite a bit later. Anyway, we're out of Viridian Forest, and I believe that I am done, uh, talking about stuff. So, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue! Uh, see ya!